how to use Google Workplace for education. So hi guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel and for today I will teach you how to create or how to use the Google Workspace for educational purposes. So with no further ado, let's get into it. So all you have to do is to open your browser and as you can see here, I've already opened my browser and it's either you could type in Google Classroom and if you type in Google Classroom there, you click on this first link or you could also on the right side here, you will see your profile this box type dots here you could scroll all the way down and until you see the classroom and basically it will look like this now before we really dive into this tutorial i just want to give you a background on what is google classroom or google workspace or like use it as a classroom so a google classroom is a free blended learning platform that is developed by google and it is for educational institutions that aims to simplify by creating distributing and grading the assignments or basically make this as your platform for your classroom online especially um there is pandemic happening so this platform is really great created by google and the primary purpose of google classroom is to streamline the process of sharing files between the teachers and the students so now let's get back into this the google classroom is actually open for both teachers and for both students and it will look like this as you can see we have different classroom here um, for example you are a teacher and you have different classes for different subjects then all you have to do is you will see this cross here it's either create or join a class then you click on that and if you're a student and your teacher let's say your teacher has given you the link for your um, class then you could join the class as you can see here there is a need for the class code now if you are a teacher then you could create your own class then just agree that you've read and understand the notice above and you are not using classroom at a school with students so you click on continue then you could name your class so let's say bonifacio class of bonifacio then the section let's say na the subject mathematics and the room for example there is of course there's a lot of subject under mathematics so you could create a 106 room and then just click on create and wait for it to load and here you have already created your very own classroom for bonifacio and a and this is the class code so if you want your students to come in here then you could just simply copy the class code and then give it to them and here you will see the upcoming no work due soon and you could customize the classroom of your choice for example you have a cover page or a logo for your class then you could customize it by selecting a photo or uploading a photo now you could also change the theme color for your um, classroom to make it more lively and very eye-catchy so let's say i want to use this color here then you click on save then the class theme color will be updated now if you want to announce something on class for example you want to say we will be having a virtual meeting at then you insert the time then you could also add a link now if you want a less a pre-made lesson then you could also connect it to a youtube video for example you are discussing about a specific subject and that subject is on youtube then you could also link that video here and the students will just click on that and they will be led there now you could also upload different files for example you have a file under um word or pdf then it's the instructions are all there then all you have to do is to upload the file then all the students could see it and download it and then create 
now here is the stream so let's say you want to go to the classwork you click on the classwork so let's just not save that now for the classwork let's say you have assignments under that then if you click on create you could um, create an assignment if you have a quiz assignment you could also put it there and if you have any questions for example you want them to have open forum about a specific question and everyone can actually answer there um, you could also do that and you could reuse the post and let's say let's click on assignment so here let's say assignment number one and then you input the instructions here and again you could input the file for them where they could put it and here you could set up where bonifacio and who could see this of course your students and then what is the score for that and then you could actually set a time when is it due and what is the topic all about now if you have a specific rubric for that then you could create your rubric and just simply click on assign here now you have your assignment that is due tomorrow now here you will see the google calendar if you go to the google calendar it will actually be saved there so if your students google actually is connected to the calendar then they could see that you have posted an assignment or a reminder when is it due and you could also um, add the class drive folder for example you want to put their outputs there so you could compile all there to the class drive folder and for the people here you could invite the students for now i do not have a student but again you could see the class code so if you give off the class code then th the students will appear here and if you have a co-teachers under the, that subject then you can add that person or you could personally add the student and for grades you will see the grades here after you have graded their assignments and basically that is how google classroom works and that is how you use google workspace for education so that is all for today now you know how to use google workspace for education we are about to end this video and to end it on a good note I would like to request you guys that if you found this video helpful or if you found this method exactly what you wanted or what you're looking for, consider subscribing to our channel and sharing it to your friends and family who might even learn a thing or two from this video or from the hundreds of video we have on your channel. And of course, if you have any questions, any queries or any confusions or any suggestions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment box below. I tried to cover everything I could in this video, but if you want to see more details on the methods or ways shared in this video, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to make more videos on your suggestions. At the end of the day, it's all about providing you guys with a valuable content that could help instill a positive change in your life and hopefully your friends and family's life as well. In the end, I'd like to request you to make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it helps our videos out a lot. And again, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, goodbye!